All right, welcome back to another edition of the Funky Homestead. Tonight we're going to be making potato soup. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to start with two quarts of sliced, diced, canned potatoes. Now don't worry, if you don't have canned potatoes, not that hard to do this. Just slice you up two quarts of, or peel and wash and dice two quarts of potatoes and put them in your pan. Now you want to add enough water to cover your potatoes. While I'm at it, I'm going to rinse my jars out. You don't want to too much liquid because you're going to add more later on. But you just want enough to cover your potatoes so as they cook, they'll get good and tender. Now these are pretty much tender because when I canned them, it it made them tender. I just want enough just to cover my potatoes. I'm then going to turn this on a medium low heat. About a five medium heat then. And when it's time for the next step I'll be back. Alright I'm back. It's been a few minutes. If you're doing this and you use raw potatoes you cook them until a fork will slide in and out of them easy. I'm using canned potatoes so they heat it quicker. Uh, we like minced onions, so I added minced onions to it. When you get your potatoes to where you want them, for this I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of butter, which is half a stick. While that's melting, I'm going to take four cups of milk or a quart. And to that I'm going to add a half a cup of flour, and I'm going to whisk it up. Now what this does, this makes, makes it thicker. And once you put this in, you're going to cook it. It'll thicken up a little bit. You don't want to put too much flour or you'll get it super thick. But the butter will melt down into your potatoes. Once it's melted in, you can cut it up. This has been sitting out for a little bit. It's kind of warm, so it should melt good and easy. Once you get your butter melted in, you add your milk and your flour mixture and you're going to cook this about a medium maybe a little beyond medium medium high heat maybe but we're going to cook this like I say about a medium a little over a medium I guess and this will get thick now you can add salt pepper what are the seasonings garlic whatever you want to it but as I've said in other videos people here don't like certain things there are some that can't take heat so I just I cook it bland, they can add what they want. I'll be back when it's completely done and show you the end product. I'll see you in a few. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, I've got this cooked to about the thickness that we like. Now you can serve this over biscuit with crackers, cornbread, however you want to serve it. I like it best over cornbread or plain. I thank you. All you got to do now is enjoy this. If you got any questions or comments, let me know. If you like it, hit the like button. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you.